What is your all-time favorite book and why? My all-time favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee because of its powerful themes of justice and empathy. What is your all-time favorite book and why? My all-time favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee because of its powerful themes of justice and empathy. Can you share a memorable quote or passage from your favorite book? One of my favorite quotes is from The Great Gatsby. So we beat on boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Can you share a memorable quote or passage from your favorite book? One of my favorite quotes is from The Great Gatsby. So we beat on boats against the current. Born back ceaselessly into the past. How did you discover your favorite book? And what drew you to it? I discovered my favorite book, 1984, by George Orwell, through a literature class, and its exploration of dystopian society drew me in. How did you discover your favorite book? And what drew you to it? I discovered my favorite book, 1984, by George Orwell, through a literature class, and its exploration of dystopian society drew me in. Have you ever reread your favorite book? And if so, what keeps you coming back to it? I've reread. The Catcher in the Rye, multiple times Holden Caulfield's relatable voice and struggles keep me coming back to it. Have you ever reread your favorite book, and if so, what keeps you coming back to it? I've reread The Catcher in the Rye, multiple times Holden Caulfield's relatable voice and struggles keep me coming back to it. Are there specific characters in your favorite book that you strongly identify with? I strongly identify with the character of Elizabeth Bennet in Pride and Prejudice, due to her wit and independent spirit. Are there specific characters in your favorite book that you strongly identify with? I strongly identify with the character of Elizabeth Bennet in Pride and Prejudice, due to her wit and independent spirit. How does your favorite book influence your perspective on life or shape your values? The Alchemist, by Paolo Coelho has influenced my perspective on following dreams and embracing life's journey, shaping my values. How does your favorite book influence your perspective on life or shape your values? The Alchemist, by Paolo Coelho has influenced my perspective on following dreams and embracing life's journey, shaping my values. If your favorite book were to be adapted into a movie, who would you envision playing the main characters? For the Hobbit, I'd envision Martin Freeman as Bilbo Baggins and Ian McKellen as Gandalf if it were adapted into a movie. If your favorite book were to be adapted into a movie, who would you envision playing the main characters? For The Hobbit, I'd envision Martin Freeman as Bilbo Baggins and Ian McKellen as Gandalf if it were adapted into a movie. What genre does your favorite book fall into? And do you generally prefer that genre? 100 Years of Solitude falls into the magical realism genre, and while I enjoy it, I also explore various genres. 
What genre does your favorite book fall into? And do you generally prefer that genre? 100 Years of Solitude falls into the magical realism genre. And while I enjoy it, I also explore various genres. Have you recommended your favorite book to friends? And how do they usually react to it? I've recommended The Kite Runner to friends, and their reactions have been mixed. Some found it emotionally powerful, while others found it intense. Have you recommended your favorite book to friends, and how do they usually react to it? I've recommended The Kite Runner to friends, and their reactions have been mixed. Some found it emotionally powerful while others found it intense. Is there a specific edition or cover design of your favorite book that you find particularly appealing? I love the vintage cover design of The Picture of Dorian Gray. It adds a timeless and artistic touch to the book. Is there a specific edition or cover design of your favorite book that you find particularly appealing? I love the vintage cover design of The Picture of Dorian Gray. It adds a timeless and artistic touch to the book. Does your favorite book hold any sentimental value, and if so, why? The Little Prince holds sentimental value as it was a gift from a close friend, and its whimsical tale reminds me of our friendship. Does your favorite book hold any sentimental value, and if so, why? The Little Prince holds sentimental value as it was a gift from a close friend, and its whimsical tale reminds me of our friendship. How has your interpretation of your favorite book evolved over time or with multiple readings? With each reading of Brave New World, my interpretation deepens, and I discover new layers of societal critique and foresight. How has your interpretation of your favorite book evolved over time or with multiple readings? With each reading of Brave New World, my interpretation deepens, and I discover new layers of societal critique and foresight. Are there specific themes or messages in your favorite book that resonate with you personally? The theme of resilience in the face of adversity in The Road deeply resonates with me on a personal level. Are there specific themes or messages in your favorite book that resonate with you personally? The theme of resilience in the face of adversity in The Road deeply resonates with me on a personal level. Have you attended any book-related events or discussions centered around your favorite book? I attended a book club discussion on the brothers Karamazov, providing insights into the complex characters and philosophical themes. Have you attended any book-related events or discussions centered around your favorite book? I attended a book club discussion on The Brothers Karamazov, providing insights into the complex characters and philosophical themes. How do you feel about the ending of your favorite book? Does it satisfy you or leave you wanting more? The ending of The Lord of the Rings satisfies me. It beautifully concludes the epic journey while leaving room for imagination. How do you feel about the ending of your favorite book? Does it satisfy you or leave you wanting more? The ending of The Lord of the Rings 
satisfies me it beautifully concludes the epic journey while leaving room for imagination. If you were to describe your favorite book in just three words, what would they be? Intriguing. Thought-provoking. Timeless. If you were to describe your favorite book in just three words, what would they be? Intriguing. Thought-provoking. Timeless. Are there any literary elements like symbolism or foreshadowing in your favorite book that you find particularly compelling? The symbolism of the green light in The Great Gatsby adds a layer of complexity, creating a sense of longing and unattainability. Are there any literary elements like symbolism or foreshadowing in your favorite book that you find particularly compelling? The symbolism of the green light in The Great Gatsby adds a layer of complexity, creating a sense of longing and unattainability. Do you own multiple copies of your favorite book, and if so, why? I own multiple copies of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, with different cover designs, each holding nostalgic value from different stages of my life. Do you own multiple copies of your favorite book, and if so, why? I own multiple copies of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, with different cover designs each holding nostalgic value from different stages of my life. Have you ever gifted your favorite book to someone, and what was their reaction? I gifted The Book Thief to a friend, and their emotional response to the narrative's unique perspective was both touching and rewarding. Have you ever gifted your favorite book to someone, and what was their reaction? I gifted, The Book Thief, to a friend, and their emotional response to the narrative's unique perspective was both touching and rewarding. How do you feel about adaptations or spin-offs of your favorite book, such as movies or TV series? I appreciate well-executed adaptations. The Shawshank Redemption did justice to Stephen King's Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption. How do you feel about adaptations or spin-offs of your favorite book, such as movies or TV series? I appreciate well-executed adaptations. The Shawshank Redemption did justice to Stephen King's, Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption. Does your favorite book transport you to a specific place or time when you read it? Reading, Jane Eyre, transports me to the eerie and mysterious atmosphere of Thornfield Hall every time. Does your favorite book transport you to a specific place or time when you read it? Reading, Jane Eyre, transports me to the eerie and mysterious atmosphere of Thornfield Hall every time. What emotions or moods does your favorite book evoke in you? The Outsiders evokes a mix of nostalgia, empathy, and reflection on societal disparities every time I read it. What emotions or moods does your favorite book evoke in you? The Outsiders evokes a mix of nostalgia, empathy, and reflection on societal disparities every time I read it. Have you ever recommended your favorite book to someone with different reading preferences, and how did they react? 
recommending The Martian to someone who typically avoids science fiction resulted in a pleasant surprise they enjoyed its humor and survival theme. Have you ever recommended your favorite book to someone with different reading preferences? And how did they react? Recommending The Martian to someone who typically avoids science fiction resulted in a pleasant surprise they enjoyed its humor and survival theme. How do you feel about the cover art or book design of your favorite book? And does it complement the story well? The cover art of The Night Circus is enchanting and perfectly complements the magical and mysterious atmosphere of the story. How do you feel about the cover art or book design of your favorite book? And does it complement the story well? The cover art of The Night Circus is enchanting and perfectly complements the magical and mysterious atmosphere of the story. Is there a specific atmosphere or setting in your favorite book that you find captivating? The atmospheric portrayal of post-war London in Atonement captivates me, creating a vivid backdrop for the unfolding narrative. Is there a specific atmosphere or setting in your favorite book that you find captivating? The atmospheric portrayal of post-war London in Atonement captivates me, creating a vivid backdrop for the unfolding narrative. Are there any specific quotes from your favorite book that have stayed with you over time? The quote, It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities from Harry Potter, remains a guiding principle for me. Are there any specific quotes from your favorite book that have stayed with you over time? The quote, it is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities, from Harry Potter, remains a guiding principle for me. How do you feel about the pacing and flow of the story in your favorite book? The pacing in East of Eden is masterfully done. It allows for deep character development and keeps me engaged throughout. How do you feel about the pacing and flow of the story in your favorite book? The pacing in East of Eden as masterfully done it allows for deep character development and keeps me engaged throughout. Are there any specific editions or versions of your favorite book that you collect or find interesting? I collect vintage editions of Wuthering Heights, with unique cover designs, appreciating the different artistic interpretations. Are there any specific editions or versions of your favorite book that you collect or find interesting? I collect vintage editions of Wuthering Heights, with unique cover designs, appreciating the different artistic interpretations. Does your favorite book have any memorable or iconic quotes that are widely recognized? The Great Gatsby is known for its iconic quote, so we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Does your favorite book have any memorable or iconic quotes that are widely recognized? The Great Gatsby is known for its iconic quote, so we beat on, boats against the current born back ceaselessly into the past. How do you feel about the character development in your favorite book? 
Are the characters relatable or intriguing? The character development in The Count of Monte Cristo is rich and intricate, making the characters both relatable and intriguing. How do you feel about the character development in your favorite book? Are the characters relatable or intriguing? The character development in The Count of Monte Cristo is rich and intricate, making the characters both relatable and intriguing. Have you ever taken inspiration from your favorite book in your personal life or decision making? The Resilience and Optimism of Anne Frank in The Diary of a Young Girl inspire me during challenging times and influence my perspective on resilience. Have you ever taken inspiration from your favorite book in your personal life or decision making? The Resilience and Optimism of Anne Frank in The Diary of a Young Girl inspire me during challenging times and influence my perspective on resilience. How do you feel about the ending of your favorite book? Does it provide closure or leave room for interpretation? The ending of The Giver leaves room for interpretation, sparking contemplation on societal structures and individual choices. How do you feel about the ending of your favorite book? Does it provide closure or leave room for interpretation? The ending of The Giver leaves room for interpretation, sparking contemplation on societal structures and individual choices. Have you explored other works by the same author of your favorite book, and how do they compare? Exploring other works by J.D. Salinger, I found Franny and Zoe to have a similar introspective style, though distinct from The Catcher in the Rye. Have you explored other works by the same author of your favorite book, and how do they compare? Exploring other works by J.D. Salinger, I found Franny and Zoe to have a similar introspective style, though distinct from The Catcher in the Rye. Does your favorite book belong to a series, and if so, how do you feel about the overall series? Dune is part of a series, and I appreciate the expansive world-building and intricate plots that unfold throughout the series. Does your favorite book belong to a series, and if so, how do you feel about the overall series? Dune is part of a series, and I appreciate the expansive world-building and intricate plots that unfold throughout the series. How do you feel about the cultural impact of your favorite book? Has it influenced popular culture or societal conversations? Fahrenheit 451 has had a profound cultural impact, influencing discussions on censorship, intellectual freedom, and the role of literature. How do you feel about the cultural impact of your favorite book? Has it influenced popular culture or societal conversations? Fahrenheit 451 has had a profound cultural impact, influencing discussions on censorship, intellectual freedom, and the role of literature. Have you ever joined an online community or discussion forum related to your favorite book? I joined a discussion forum for The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, allowing me to share insights and humorous perspectives with fellow fans. 
Have you ever joined an online community or discussion forum related to your favorite book? I joined a discussion forum for The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, allowing me to share insights and humorous perspectives with fellow fans. How do you feel about audiobook or ebook versions of your favorite book compared to the physical copy? I appreciate the convenience of audiobooks for the Odyssey during commutes, but nothing beats the tactile experience of a physical copy. How do you feel about audiobook or ebook versions of your favorite book compared to the physical copy? I appreciate the convenience of audiobooks for The Odyssey during commutes, but nothing beats the tactile experience of a physical copy. Have you ever attended a book signing or author event related to your favorite book? Attending a book signing for The Hunger Games allowed me to meet the author, Suzanne Collins and gain insights into the creative process. Have you ever attended a book signing or author event related to your favorite book? Attending a book signing for The Hunger Games allowed me to meet the author, Suzanne Collins, and gain insights into the creative process. How do you feel about adaptations or reinterpretations of your favorite book in different forms of media? I enjoyed the film adaptation of Fight Club, appreciating how it brought the unique narrative and themes to a wider audience. How do you feel about adaptations or reinterpretations of your favorite book in different forms of media? I enjoyed the film adaptation of Fight Club, appreciating how it brought the unique narrative and themes to a wider audience. Does your favorite book have any memorable or iconic scenes that you vividly recall? The courtroom scene in To Kill a Mockingbird is unforgettable it's a powerful moment that resonates with themes of injustice. Does your favorite book have any memorable or iconic scenes that you vividly recall? The courtroom scene in To Kill a Mockingbird is unforgettable it's a powerful moment that resonates with themes of injustice. How do you feel about the representation of diverse characters and perspectives in your favorite book? The representation of diverse characters in The Color Purple enriches the narrative, providing a nuanced exploration of individual experiences. How do you feel about the representation of diverse characters and perspectives in your favorite book? The representation of diverse characters in The Color Purple enriches the narrative, providing a nuanced exploration of individual experiences. Have you ever participated in a book club discussion focused on your favorite book, and how was the experience? Joining a book club discussion for The Road allowed me to gain different perspectives and insights into the dystopian themes. Have you ever participated in a book club discussion focused on your favorite book, and how was the experience? Joining a book club discussion for The Road allowed me to gain different perspectives and insights into the dystopian themes. How do you feel about prequels, sequels, or spin-offs related to your favorite book? I enjoyed exploring the prequel, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, 
as it expanded the magical world introduced in Harry Potter. How do you feel about prequels, sequels, or spin-offs related to your favorite book? I enjoyed exploring the prequel, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, as it expanded the magical world introduced in Harry Potter. Does your favorite book have any thought-provoking or open-ended elements that spark discussion? The ambiguous ending of Never Let Me Go sparks thought-provoking discussions on ethics, identity, and the consequences of technological advancements. Does your favorite book have any thought-provoking or open-ended elements that spark discussion? The ambiguous ending of, Never Let Me Go, sparks thought-provoking discussions on ethics, identity, and the consequences of technological advancements. How do you feel about the pacing and structure of your favorite book? Does it enhance or hinder the storytelling? The nonlinear structure of Slaughterhouse 5 enhances the storytelling, allowing for a unique exploration of time and memory. How do you feel about the pacing and structure of your favorite book? Does it enhance or hinder the storytelling? The nonlinear structure of Slaughterhouse 5 enhances the storytelling, allowing for a unique exploration of time and memory. Have you ever created fan art, fan fiction, or any creative work inspired by your favorite book? I created fan art inspired by Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Capturing the whimsical and fantastical elements of the story. Have you ever created fan art, fan fiction, or any creative work inspired by your favorite book? I created fan art inspired by Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, capturing the whimsical and fantastical elements of the story. How do you feel about the role of morality or ethical dilemmas in your favorite book? Crime and Punishment delves into ethical dilemmas, and the exploration of morality adds depth to the psychological aspects of the narrative. How do you feel about the role of morality or ethical dilemmas in your favorite book? Crime and Punishment delves into ethical dilemmas, and the exploration of morality adds depth to the psychological aspects of the narrative. Have you ever connected with others who share a love for your favorite book, and how did that connection unfold? Connecting with fellow fans of The Fault in Our Stars through online forums allowed me to share emotional experiences and reflections on the story. Have you ever connected with others who share a love for your favorite book, and how did that connection unfold? Connecting with fellow fans of The Fault in Our Stars through online forums allowed me to share emotional experiences and reflections on the story. How do you feel about the adaptation of your favorite book into different languages? And have you explored any translations? Exploring the Spanish translation of 100 Years of Solitude provided a unique linguistic perspective and added richness to the narrative. How do you feel about the adaptation of your favorite book into different languages? And have you explored any translations? Exploring the Spanish translation of 100 Years of Solitude provided a unique linguistic perspective and added richness to the narrative.
Have you ever visited locations or settings related to your favorite book? And how did it enhance your connection to the story? Visiting the Moors of Hayworth, where Wuthering Heights is set, enhanced my connection to the story, bringing the atmospheric setting to life. Have you ever visited locations or settings related to your favorite book? And how did it enhance your connection to the story? Visiting the Moors of Hayward, where Wuthering Heights is set, enhanced my connection to the story, bringing the atmospheric setting to life. How do you feel about the representation of relationships, friendships, or romantic elements in your favorite book? The portrayal of friendship in The Perks of Being a Wallflower feels authentic and adds emotional depth to the narrative. How do you feel about the representation of relationships, friendships, or romantic elements in your favorite book? The portrayal of friendship in The Perks of Being a Wallflower feels authentic and adds emotional depth to the narrative. Have you ever engaged in discussions or debates about your favorite book's themes or interpretations? Participating in discussions about the philosophical themes of Thus Spoke Zarathustra allowed me to explore different perspectives and interpretations. Have you ever engaged in discussions or debates about your favorite book's themes or interpretations? Participating in discussions about the philosophical themes of Thus Spoke Zarathustra allowed me to explore different perspectives and interpretations. How do you feel about the impact of your favorite book on your personal growth or worldview? Man's Search for Meaning had a profound impact, shaping my perspective on resilience, purpose, and finding meaning in life. How do you feel about the impact of your favorite book on your personal growth or worldview? Man's Search for Meaning had a profound impact, shaping my perspective on resilience, purpose, and finding meaning in life. Have you ever recommended your favorite book to someone who initially hesitated, and how did they react after reading it? Recommending The Power of One to someone initially hesitant about historical fiction resulted in them appreciating the compelling narrative and historical context. Have you ever recommended your favorite book to someone who initially hesitated, and how did they react after reading it? Recommending, The Power of One, to someone initially hesitant about historical fiction resulted in them. Appreciating the compelling narrative and historical context. How do you feel about the representation of societal issues or cultural commentary in your favorite book? The societal critique in Animal Farm is powerful, offering insightful commentary on political ideologies and the abuse of power. How do you feel about the representation of societal issues or cultural commentary in your favorite book? The societal critique in Animal Farm is powerful, offering insightful commentary on political ideologies and the abuse of power. Have you ever attended a book-related event or convention where your favorite book was celebrated? Attending a Tolkien-themed convention allowed me to immerse myself in the world of Middle-earth and connect with fellow fans of The Lord of the Rings. 
Have you ever attended a book-related event or convention where your favorite book was celebrated? Attending a Tolkien-themed convention allowed me to immerse myself in the world of Middle-earth and connect with fellow fans of The Lord of the Rings. How do you feel about the portrayal of complex or morally ambiguous characters in your favorite book? The portrayal of morally ambiguous characters in Gone Girl adds suspense and psychological depth, making the narrative more intriguing. How do you feel about the portrayal of complex or morally ambiguous characters in your favorite book? The portrayal of morally ambiguous characters in Gone Girl adds suspense and psychological depth, making the narrative more intriguing. Have you ever participated in a book-themed event or party centered around your favorite book? Hosting a Harry Potter-themed party allowed me to celebrate the magical world, complete with themed decorations, activities, and treats. Have you ever participated in a book-themed event or party centered around your favorite book? Hosting a Harry Potter themed party allowed me to celebrate the magical world, complete with themed decorations, activities, and treats. How do you feel about the pacing and tension building elements in your favorite book? Do they contribute to the overall impact? The slow burn and tension building in Rebecca contribute to its atmospheric impact, creating a sense of unease and suspense. How do you feel about the pacing and tension-building elements in your favorite book? Do they contribute to the overall impact? The slow burn and tension-building in Rebecca contribute to its atmospheric impact, creating a sense of unease and suspense. Have you ever explored academic or scholarly analyses of your favorite book, and did they deepen your appreciation? Reading scholarly analyses of The Odyssey deepened my appreciation for its timeless themes, cultural significance, and narrative structure. Have you ever explored academic or scholarly analyses of your favorite book, and did they deepen your appreciation? Reading scholarly analyses of The Odyssey deepened my appreciation for its timeless themes, cultural significance, and narrative structure. How do you feel about the representation of emotions, struggles, or personal growth in your favorite book. The representation of personal growth in The Bell Jar resonates deeply, capturing the complexities of emotions and the journey toward self-discovery. How do you feel about the representation of emotions, struggles, or personal growth in your favorite book? The representation of personal growth in The Bell Jar resonates deeply, capturing the complexities of emotions and the journey toward self-discovery. Have you ever participated in book-related challenges or events inspired by your favorite book? Participating in a Dune Read Along Challenge allowed me to engage with fellow readers and share insights on the intricate world building. Have you ever participated in book related challenges or events inspired by your favorite book? Participating in a Doom Read Along Challenge allowed me to engage with fellow readers and share insights on the intricate world building.